Okay, so today I'm going to be making some little clay pinch bowls. The little bowls are about that big. You can use them as little plant pots if you wanted to, or little bowls that you can put little bits and bobs in if you like. So get your clay ready. Um, also, you're going to need a few other things. So have a look around your kitchen or your house and everywhere, and just find little things where you can make little imprints on the clay that will create patterns. So um, we've got this little cheese knife, so you can get a little pattern around the edge with that. The same with a, a fork, this is a plastic fork, but you can use a normal fork. Um, piercing, little holes, little, um, what is it, Co corn on the cob skewer thing. Um, got a little cookie cutter here, heart shaped one, so you might want to cut some hearts out and stick them around the outside of your pot. And then we've got this little stamp here which has got a little bit of a floral design on, you could use that. And a knife will come in handy as well if you want to just tidy the edges up a little bit on your pots. And to make a little hole in the bottom of your pot we've got this wooden skewer as well. Um, and then obviously as you're going by you, you might need to use just a little bit of water as well. So let's get cracking. It's quite a big packet of clay this, um, so you might get a few little pots out of it um, but I'm just going to demonstrate your first pot so you're probably going to probably need about that much so if you just slice slice it um, and then make sure you wrap this up straight away so it doesn't harden because it's air drying clay um, so make sure you do wrap it up in an airtight container or bag um, and like I said you'll be using about this much of your clay so first of all, I'm just going to work the clay um, and try and get it into a ball. Just keep working it, patting it, turning it. Making sure that I press down any creases that might appear. You can see the ball started taking shape. You just have to be patient. It is a slow process because it's obviously the oldest and longest way of creating pots. Don't overwork your clay neither because obviously um, your hands. Um, Take all the moisture out of the clay and it will become harder to work with. So you can either start with a ball shape like this or um, a rolled cylinder shape. I prefer to start with the ball. So that's more or less ready. So oh, still got that crease there. Just press that in. So what I'm going to do is stick my thumb right in the middle, make sure it's as nearest to the middle as you can get it and create a hole. I'm just going to apply the pressure and with my two fingers I'm going to start pinching and turning, pinching and turning. So you're kind of doing this, so your thumb's inside and you're pinching and you're turning. And just take your time doing it and make sure that this bit stays the same width the best you can all the way around. And gradually it'll start opening up more and more. So what I'm going to do now is from the bottom, because I feel like I've, I've reached the bottom with my thumb, from the bottom, I'm going to work my way up and just pinch upwards, turn it, and pinch upwards, turn it, and pinch upwards, like that. So I'm just going to keep doing that for a while. And then I'm 
want to go back to the pinching with my two fingers. Okay, so now I'm going to just apply a little bit of pressure on the base. it out a little bit and then keep pinching and turning. You can see it's taking shape. I'm quite happy with the size of that pod now. So with my knife, and be very careful, I'm just going to slice, keep the level uh, across the, and just slice very slowly. And just do this really slow and gently. So just with a little bit of water, I'm just going to smooth out the top. Only a bit, just in the tips of my fingers just get these jagged bits smoother I'm quite happy with that it doesn't have to look perfect so obviously it's a handmade pot and we like it looking a little bit kind of Rough if you like. <laughs> then you know a machine's not made it. Okay. So now I'm going to maybe do some little designs around it. Um, I've got some here that I did earlier on. I'm just give you some, some idea of the examples. Ooh. So on this one um, with the little heart cutter, which is that little cookie cutter, I just put them around. Um, there's a snail that we got made. <laughs> so with this one I just pinched a little bit firmer just to get these little imprints all the way around and I used a little star cutter, icing cutter that I have, which is these, just to make some little stars at the bottom and then obviously I've done that one, the stars all around. And then on the tops I've just have used a knife um, or a fork to do some fancy edging. So I'm just going to decide what I'm going to do with this one now. Um, I've punched little holes in as well with the skewer. So these are all nice and dry now. Dried nicely. So I'm going to use some acrylic paints and, and, and maybe paint a couple of them. I didn't think as well what you could make as a little flat plate to go underneath. Um, so that when the water drips out, if you are using it as a plant pot, you can um, the water will have somewhere to drain think of that but I use um, plastic lids sometimes as well I can just use a saucer like most people do little snails dried of Imogen's so I'm just going to paint some of these and I'll show some pictures at the end okay so I've painted them all now 